leverage trading. You can get poor fast or rich fast, depending on how you invest. Now, leverage trading is extremely risky and you can lose a lot of money very quickly. And doing that will allow you to learn how to leverage trade much faster. So I have been leverage trading for several years now, and I am very disciplined to the point where I can do this without being an emotional trader and without risking all my capital. You have to be very disciplined when doing this type of trading. It's not something new people should do, but a lot of new people are doing this, so I wanna go over the lessons that I learned along the way, and we'll also go over why there are so many platforms to do this and how much those platforms are making. So that's what we're covering in this video, and of course, none of this is financial advice. I am just sharing some tips from my own personal experience. Now, this video is not sponsored, so it's gonna be an unbiased opinion because there are a lot of people who actually reached out and requested a leverage trading video or review of their platform, and I don't make that because it's very risky to new investors. And for myself, when I first got into it, I lost a lot of money because I didn't know what I was doing and I was taking on a lot of risk. So back in the day, I was on BitMEX when you could still use it in the US and I probably lost about two Bitcoin. Now that's when Bitcoin was around $2,000. So that was like 4,000 bucks, but Bitcoin can turn into a lot of money because it's worth much more than $2,000. So to start off, what is leverage trading? Leverage trading allows you to borrow funds that you don't have to make trades. So for example, if you have $100 and make a 10x leverage trade, you are essentially using your $100 at 10 times its power, so you are investing $1,000. Now this does come with some risk. If your investment goes up by 10% at 10x, you get a 100% gain. If it goes down by 10%, that's a 100% loss, which means your investment gets liquidated. So for you to borrow that money, you do have to put up collateral. In that example, your collateral is $100. Now you also have to remember you are borrowing funds and you have to pay fees to do that. So each platform you use to do leverage trading is going to have its own set of fees and it can really add up. So how much are these exchanges decentralized or centralized making from futures trading? Let's take a look. So top derivative exchanges by open interest and trade volume, the perpetuals and futures for the last 24 hours was about $165 billion. And if we look at the fees, we can take on average kind of like a conservative amount, 0.03%. So that's $165 billion being traded at 0.03%. That is $33 million of revenue in a single day. Annualized, that is $12 billion a year collected in fees conservatively for these platforms. So exchanges want you to trade futures because they make a lot of money for it. And this goes for centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. And for where you should trade really depends on your preference. If you're in the US, you cannot do derivatives or futures trading on a US crypto exchange. This happens on the international sites, anything not located in the US or uh, on exchanges with no KYC or some exchanges where you have to change your IP address. And then there are also decentralized exchanges that allow you to do that as well. And if we look at the top exchanges by volume, on the top we got Binance, OKX, Bybit, MixC, and uh, a couple more. For myself, I've used several different platforms because the coin selection may vary depending on what you use. But for the most part, not sponsored, I use KuCoin because there's no KYC and I really like their app. Now, once again, not sponsored, but if you wanna sign up, I do have a referral link in the description that will get you 20% off your trades. And we also have to understand why do people leverage trade? Because it creates more opportunities for different types of market conditions. Now, if there's a lot of uncertainty, maybe you wanna hedge. So let's say you're holding a lot of Bitcoin and some news is coming out that might be bad for your Bitcoin investments. That's when you would create a short position to hedge against your Bitcoin investment. So whether the price goes up or down, you're kind of like buying insurance to make sure your portfolio stays flat. So if the price goes up, your portfolio flat. The price of Bitcoin goes down, 
the portfolio is flat. You still have the same value of your portfolio, you hedged against some type of news event, and you protected your portfolio value. Now this does come at the cost of some fees depending on what type of risk you're taking, but hedging is a way to protect your investment. Now let's get started with some things I learned about leverage trading. Number one, you're gonna lose money. If you're new to trading and you can't control the emotional swings of the markets going up or down and the trades don't go your way, don't leverage trade because you are going to lose money. And if you're okay with losing money, make sure it's an amount you're okay with. So a lot of these platforms have different types of wallets where you have several different accounts set for how much you're investing. Invest a very small amount and make it very inconvenient for you to deposit more funds into that account. So this is kind of a learning experience and you can always start with very small amounts. There is a lot of risk and learning takes a long time. And now I've been doing this for several years. I am more of a long-term investor where I just hold coins, but sometimes there's opportunities that I find where I will leverage trade. And that's just because it's more entertaining for me in the short term. For any type of leveraged position, you should not be holding that long term because it involves a lot of fees. Unless the market keeps moving in the direction you want, you don't want to keep paying those fees. Using leveraged trading in a sideways market will not help your portfolio because you would just overall be losing against those fees. So that brings me to my second tip, when you do leverage trade, wait for those right opportunities. Maybe we are in a bull market, there is a lot of momentum and you want to ride that momentum. You can do that. Or if there's a very positive news event about a coin that's coming up, you might want to open a position and be ready to set your take profits, your stop losses, just to secure that you will only lose a certain amount of money or that you're guaranteed to at least take profit in the event that there is a spike in the price. And then some other people also like to use technical analysis that does work for identifying support and resistance, but technical analysis isn't always 100% accurate. There's always outside factors that can change everything. So don't read into TA saying that it's gonna give you a definitive answer. TA fails a lot because if it worked every time and it was very predictable, you could write these algorithms to trade for infinite money. So don't think that TA is gonna be the solution to everything. Sometimes there's factors like news and momentum that can just ride you up into profits or into losses. So you got to be okay with going long or short depending on the market conditions. Number three, trailing stop losses. This is actually my favorite one. I always set a stop loss initially and then if I am in the profit I will continue to move up my stop loss amount where I am in the money and I will be guaranteed profit. Now a lot of protocols don't actually have a trailing stop loss loss function so it is something you have to do manually and you have to monitor and if you stick around until the end of the video we are going to run through an example of setting up a stop loss and a trailing stop loss that we kind of manually set number four extreme hedging now we talked about hedging earlier in the video how you are kind of like buying insurance but you could also do a more extreme version of hedging where let's say you're 10x long and you're 10x short as long as the price moves 11% you're going to be profitable. Now, not a lot of platforms allow you to do this, and sometimes you just need two accounts where you open a 10x Bitcoin long position, a 10x Bitcoin short, and as long as the trend keeps moving in one direction, you can potentially be profitable. So that is another way you could do that, but at the same time, you also want to limit your risk and set up your stop losses and your take profits, because getting rich slow and just making small profits at a time is still a good way to make money. Number five, leverage tokens. Leverage tokens allow you to do these long or short position, whether it's 1x, 2x, or 3x. 1x just means, yeah, you are going long or short. Um, you are just holding the position of that coin. 2s or 2l, which you'll typically see for these tokens, it means it's a 2x short or a 2x long, so double your money, or 3x. 
Now, with these leverage tokens, they do involve fees, which are collected daily, and the coins get rebalanced. So whenever you are doing leverage trading, and it's either a leverage token or a leverage position, you are paying fees daily. Now, you don't want to do that long term, so you really should be playing momentum plays or short term news events, where maybe you're holding that position for a few hours or a few days, but it's not something you want to hold for a few weeks. Now let's set up a leverage trade and I'm going to show you some things I learned along the way. We will be using the KuCoin app if you don't have an account. I do have a referral link to get you 20% off your trades. Now this video isn't sponsored by KuCoin but I am an affiliate for them so I would get a kickback. Now that doesn't mean you should trade on KuCoin. That's up to you. There are a lot of different exchanges. It really depends on if you can access those trades, um, what coins you want to trade, and and a lot more. So there are a lot of options out there. I think KuCoin is great because they have no KYC, so everyone can use them. All right, jumping into the app here. So it says 100x futures at the bottom right, and that's where we get started. And you gotta have some USDT in your account to get started. Now, there are multiple wallets in the app, so you would be transferring from, let's say, your main account to your futures account, because trading is in its own wallet and i recommend only keeping what you're comfortable trading in that wallet you want it to be a little inconvenient for you to trade away your entire portfolio and before you actually get started you should understand the risks and limit your risks by keeping money out of that account so uh, if you are going to get started start off with a small amount till you're comfortable and you know what you're doing so from the bottom right yeah we are in the futures section at the top left here, we can pick the different contracts. So you go to USDT and they have a lot of different coins available. I happen to be looking at VRA and you can see at the top right, there's these two bars. I'm gonna select that and then we can see the different charts. So you can change the time frame of the charts to whatever time frame you want. And you can kind of see like where things are going. Now we can talk about technical analysis, supports and trends, and how things are looking on the short term, medium term, or long term. And at uh, the hourly, for myself, this looks pretty good. And uh, that's not financial advice, this is just my opinion. And if I want to buy along, this might be a good time to jump in with a very tight stop loss because we don't want to take on that much risk. So I'm going to select the price I want, and that's what I'm pressing there. It fills in the limit price, and then we can set the order amount. So I'm just going to set up 25%. That is quite a bit of money. And then you can see up here the margin I want to set. It can go anywhere from 1x to 20x. We're going to do 5x. I'm comfortable with that amount. Hit buy long. Going to confirm the order. Got to put in my trading password. And the order has been submitted successfully and it's currently being filled. So this should take a moment to get filled. You can see that and that's it. Yeah, it was very quick since I went with close to the market price and you see my long order there. And then you see my order there. You see we're at 5x, how much VRA it is. You can see we're already down 53 cents because we're paying to borrow those funds. Now, this is going to grow over time as long as this moves sideways. So even though we're down 53 cents, the actual position, profit and losses, are uh, zero. Oh, just went up. So I'm going to hit take profit and stop loss. And I want kind of a tight stop loss on this. So I'm going to say I'm willing to lose 15%. And at 5x, that means if the price drops 3%, this stop loss is going to get triggered. I'm comfortable with taking that loss, so I'm gonna set that. And we can also set a take profit, so take profit and stop loss, so you can do both. And for take profit, we can say if we gain 25%, we take profit 50, 75, 100, 150%. Now you could get greedy here and just try to uh, get a lot out of this. Um, it's possible you can make profit. We can do something very conservative with 25%. Yeah, I know, conservative making 25% off this trade, but there are a lot of things you can do with uh, leverage trading and using KuCoin just gives you these pre-filled options. Now, if you didn't want to do that, that's fine too. You can set your own price. So I'm going to hit 
uh, confirm. Um, so I'm going to cancel that. And then I could say, hey, when the price gets to, let's let's actually take a look at the charts. Um, point five 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 eight. So let's say that. Let's say take profit. We're going to take profit at zero point zero zero five 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 eight. And that will give us a pr very small profit of $37. So we're either gonna make $37 or lose $68. And that's if you wanna play things pretty conservatively. So now I have my leverage trade set up and this leverage position is very likely gonna close with me either in profit or at a loss. So I'm comfortable with this and that's how you set up a trade. Now, having a take profit is awesome because you don't need to get too greedy things don't consistently go up it's hard to find the bottom and for stop losses it limits how much you lose so if you are just getting involved with this i highly recommend trying this out and getting comfortable with it understanding it and knowing when to take profit and limit your risk and at the top right i have auto deposit margin off this is very critical because you could lose more money than your actual position because it's going to say hey i'm going to use more margin in my account to keep this trade active so i don't get liquidated now on other platforms this is referred to as cross margin where even though you have just one leverage position it's going to take margin from wherever you have available in your account and with auto deposit margin off this is an isolated position which means that it's not going to pull margin from the rest of your account it's just going to use whatever you have invested into that actual position so you can see for the position we've taken here we have invested 543 dollars and we can't lose more than that so for the position i just opened i disabled the take profit now i am currently profitable and if i actually make 10 percent 20 percent or 30 percent I'm slowly going to move up that stop loss. So I want to have that stop loss in a profitable area. So I actually end up with potentially more. Now this does require me to watch the position more actively, which I am doing. And it also causes a lot of stress and anxiety. So that is just one way I approach things. You could potentially just use technical analysis to set your take profit, but crypto can move beyond technical analysis. That is just something that is a prediction model that is never guaranteed and anything can happen. So my favorite method when doing leverage trading is to monitor the position and slowly move up that stop loss if I am profitable. Now that was just a couple lessons that I learned from how to leverage trade. I don't recommend you getting in. I recommend you learning over time, gaining that experience because it can take years to become a good leverage trader. A lot of people can be good right away. Some people might even get lucky. But if you are a long-term investor, you don't really need to take that much risk. You know, you could just make small gains every now and then and just keep stacking. Now, there is no guarantee that you'll make profit. It's very risky. And once again, I just have to keep reiterating this. It's not easy money. It's very easy to lose money that you'll never get back. Because at least if you're holding a coin, you can't get liquidated. It still has that value and can potentially always recover. So even though Bitcoin hits its all-time high, then all-time low, one Bitcoin is always worth one Bitcoin and it still always has that price potential of growing in value, whereas a leverage position can lose all of its value immediately and you have nothing. So what I learned the most is there is a lot of risk and I don't think a lot of people are ready for this but at least you can mentally prepare and know what you're getting into versus thinking it's just easy money. All right, I hope all of that was helpful. If it was, hit the like button, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, and with that, I hope you got your full value for today.